Hi, I'm Sarah of Bit of Whimsy Dolls. You can check out my Etsy shop at www.bitofwhimsyprims.etsy.com. And this is Elodie Elephant Part 3. So now, she's stuffed. She's ready to have her legs attached. And you can see, she's, we got some a little bit of extra room to turn this under. Put your fingers in, and it will flip right in. Pin it. And this is the same way I attach the legs on, on pretty much all of my dolls. Make sure it's in there. And I think I say on all my patterns, this is the hardest part to get these right and to attach the legs. Okay. Now, this LED is a little bit different because she does have a very fat body. So getting her underneath the presser foot is a little more challenging than some of my other dolls. And my pin came undone. You want to make sure it's pinned well because otherwise you'll end up having to take the seam out because it will not look right. Okay. you've done that, you're going to want to go back and do that again. Again, because kids like to carry their dolls by the arms, by the legs, <laughs> by anything that sticks out. So now, we're going to go ahead and do the face. Uh, I'm going to use buttons. You can also embroider her eyes. And if you were going to embroider her eyes, I would still pin the button to her face and then take your pencil and draw an outline. Just so uh, you have a nice circle to work from when you're embroidering. Okay, when, when you're doing it this way, then you can mess around and get the buttons just right because the pens will hold it in place. Take your needle, go through one side of her head bring it up through the button and you're gonna pull the knot through okay and then we're gonna take when we push our needle through on the last time we're gonna go ahead and do her mouth and you can look at the pattern for reference. All you're going to do is just take your thread through. And it will get caught on the arm. Those things stick out. And it's just a straight line. So then I look. And I make sure it's even on both sides. And then come back up. And that is how you do the mouth. It's just one, one stitch. Now, if you prefer to give her a little pink mouth, then you would go straight from one button to the other and go back with your pink thread. But, if you're using a fabric like this, I had, it's definitely a print of uh, lots of colors. A pink mouth might get lost, 
So that's why I chose to do this particular doll with the brown little smile. And on this last stitch, I'm going to bring my needle right up behind the button. I'm going to make sure that these are tight. And I'm going to tie okay, my so now we're going to do an ear. I have a, a coordinating thread. Again, three strands. Then I'm going to take the ear, I'm going to turn the raw edges under, like this. And I'm going to take my needle and my thread, I'm going to go in like this. I'm going to hide this knot back in, go through again, and I'm going to do a running stitch. And see how far apart those stitches are. If you do these close together, you won't be able to gather the ear. Making sure to catch both sides. Making sure that all along the way it stays turned under. And that's how that edge is going to be finished. So we got our running stitch, and I'm just going to pull it, and get a nice little gather there. And once you've gathered it, secure it by tying a knot. Okay, then you're going to take it over to your elephant. And the pattern piece does show the placement. Okay. I'm going to take the pen just to kind of hold it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to come in at the top. Go through the head, go through the back, and then see how it comes through the front. Tighten it, go through the head, go through the back, and it will come, and so you can see where it pokes through the front. And you keep going down the whole length of the ear, making sure to catch the head, come through the back, or if, maybe if you're left-handed, you might want to go through the front, and then do that for the entire ear. Once you get down to the bottom, do it right back up, because again, you want to make sure that this is, is securely fastened to the head, and this is great for lugging around, so you want to make sure that these ears are really well fastened. And then after you've done with that, you can take your thread to the back, make a knot, like just like any other knot that we would do, push it through to the side of the head, cut it, and you're done with that ear. Then you go and you do the same thing for the other ear, and once her ears are fastened, she is done.